Okay, so this is another love working, a uh, bit similar to ones I've done in the past involving the chicken heart. So I've got the chicken heart here and basically I'm going to, I have devoted this chicken heart to the actual uh, target. So this is the chick, the heart belonging to the target, it's sympathetic magic. Uh, and what I'm going to do is put some oils uh, and bits and pieces on that chicken heart. Uh, so that we basically warm his heart up. So this is reconciliation oil. You know, you don't have to use these oils. Like I've always said in these videos, use what you've got. Uh, like a forgiveness oil kind of thing. Yeah. So I'm just covering it in the oil and communication because we really do want him to communi communicate with uh, the client. And let's see, no. And uh, I'm looking for a love me kind of oil. I think this one is, is probably the best, okay. And a tiny little bit of my Santa Morte uh, love oil. So yes, I called on Santa Morte uh, prior to this uh, video, explained the situation to her, and that's how we're you know we're rolling. Uh, this is a little bit. I have to open it up because my little nozzle is jammed. So another little love mix that I have prepared. And I'm making a mess, but it doesn't matter. So this is going to go into uh, a jar. And I've got the petition already set out. So I've got two photographs face to face. You're going to need a black pen or, uh, sorry, a red pen or a black pen, or, you know, whatever. Uh, what I'm going to do is write across the forehead of the guy's picture. Only eyes you know across the eyes of the photograph right uh the person's name basically eyes only for and that's what you need to do to do so that the eyes only see her name his name kind of thing if that makes sense okay I have anointed these with oils again the same sort of oil and they're looking into each other's eyes and I'm just uh, folding them towards me and then clockwise again towards me I'm going to bind these photographs with some uh, yarn this is like a, a bluey white color and basically I'm using this color for healing and for spiritual love because we want it to be more than just the red that you know with red it's passion and it's yeah I tied that with red ribbon or red yarn but with regards to the photographs I just wanted to put something a bit more spiritual and nothing as you know sexual. I did put in a petition uh, about only eyes for each other uh, and this is only a tiny bit of what I've put on the petition. Oh, this is so fiddly. And this is a padlock. And with this padlock, I am binding the two and I am locking them in love, harmony, only eyes for the client. Uh, and the client will stop having a roving eye. So yes, I put on the petition, uh, basically, he only has eyes for her. They are spiritually and emotionally at one with each other. And I sort of, I was saying that into myself there as I was talking to you. Um, there we go. And then 
going to try and tie this in three knots. It's kind of fiddly, but I'm getting there. And so it is done. Okay. I'm going to pop it into a jar that has been cleaned out with this. And the little heart goes in as well. Okay, clean myself down a bit. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to sweeten that up now with some uh, honey and I think I'm running a bit low on honey. I think I might put some of the cherry liqueur in there as well. That is good for lost as well. At the end of the day, we want we want them both to be. Uh... Oh, sorry. It's hard to talk and focus at the same time. At the end of the day, we want a nice uh, emotional love and lost balance. So I called on the Santa Morte and I asked her for her help. And basically for everything uh, to be looked on. For her to sway the situation in our favour. I might need some more of that. I will need some more of that. <laughs> But I gotta put some of my red syrup in there as well. It turns the jar red and I really like that. Might as well use the rest of it. Okay, so I filled that up with a little bit more syrup and uh, more of that liqueur. Uh, so I've got some cinnamon here and some ginger mixed together. Again, very, very good for lust work. Uh, I need a little bit of orris root to give him a nudge. Uh, let's see. I'm put a few more oils in there as well. This is a uh, happiness oil. Reconciliation and it's like a forgiveness uh, kind of oil as well. Uh, okay, successful relationship oil. Again, I anointed the photographs with these, I should tell you that. If anyone wants to know, communication. I'm going to have to make some more communication oil. Pheromones again, because that's excellent for, you know, getting people on the same page kind of thing. Uh... Uh, road opener. Again, this is good for just taking out the blockages. Okay. Precipitation. Again, this is for speed. Uh, use coffee if you don't have this. It's not the easiest thing to come by. I hate getting it on my hands because it stains my hands yellow. Uh, red, sorry, not yellow, red. Okay, uh, let's have a look over here. Catnip. Oh yes, I also put some uh, moon water in there. That's why it looks very watery. Uh, I was making up a, like a, a love oil. Uh, and I had some moon water from the last uh, full moon. And I thought I would uh, put some in there. I thought it would be different. So I thought I'd try that. You know, why not? Uh, I'm strictly using it for love work. <laughs> Nothing else. A little bit of Damayana, maybe. My wrong jar. I think this is really good for... 
sexual, uh, you know, getting everything really good, you know, sexually. Uh, but we want the focus to be only on her and her, on her own, no one else. So this is just specifically for her and him. Uh, I put that in the petition and as I was, you know, going over the photographs and stuff, that's when I take the time out and talk to the Santa Morte and explain to Santa Morte that what we want um, basically for the client. So, you know, that was all conveyed to her that we want him to stop having roving eyes and to focus clearly only on the the client and to warm his heart and to lock their love. Uh, you know, so that's what I did. Uh, this is just a little love mix I'm going to put on the very top of it. It's powdered down uh, flowers, catnip, uh, eye bright, things like that. Too much there. Okay. I powdered down roses uh, for that, actually. And I also put rose water in there uh, whenever I paused the video. I actually forgot to start the video and I put some rose water and some moon water. So that's why it's a little bit watery, but it doesn't matter. Not at all. It's the intention. So I'm going to uh, blow into it to activate it. I just shake it once to get everything mixed around the way I like it. So that will go on the Santa Morte altar. Uh, and I'll probably burn a little, maybe get it. Yeah, this this one dressed. So I can use this one, this little votive. Uh, it's pink. So I'm going to burn that on top of it. And I'll probably uh, go through a few of those. Uh, they last a few nights. So I'll... I'll Sit with it and make statements of intent over it and then basically let it sit on the altar it may stay on the altar for a long time uh, you know things sometimes just stay on my altar if i get the feeling that they need to be there i just let them be and i'll still light candles on them the altar is a really good place because it, uh, something about this energy is there um yeah so sometimes i just let you know, if it's a particularly difficult case, uh, I let the jar rest there. And when I feel the time is right, then I'll deploy it. And, you know, this will go to a tree. Most likely it'll go to the tree. Uh, I don't really think it'll go anywhere else other than the tree. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, I do have a few cards. I'll have a quick look here. I did select them earlier. Oh, let me see. I thought I pulled Oracle cards. I'm pretty sure I did. I just wonder where they went. Yeah, oh, I didn't realize there's so many. I'll come back to those in a moment. Again, excuse the powders on my table. I just didn't have time to clean them. Okay, so I'm thinking, yeah, he's he's a little bit immature. Uh, and I think that's why he has that roving eye. <laughs> I think he's just a little bit immature. Uh, the child card beside the man tells me that. Uh, I don't think, he, you know, he means any harm by it. Uh, but I think... I think something in the near future is going to crop up and the two of you are going to have a deep discussion about everything, uh, especially the relationship. And I don't know if uh, you've talked about this before, about him doing that. If not, I have a feeling that you may talk about it. And I think you're going to get a very pot. I don't want you to uh, bring the subject up. I want you to wait to see what he says. I have a feeling he's going to initiate some sort of conversation about the relationship. And I think it's going to be good for the two of you. It really good for the, it's going to be good news. So with regards to that, if you feel the time is right to bring that up, then bring it up. Uh, but like I said, we've got, we've got the wheels in motion already. So 
uh, I would just wait and see if you get an invitation to, you know, opening up about your true feelings. Uh, I, I want him to initiate that first, though, because uh, I don't want you doing that. I want you to basically um, keep everything close to your chest for now and let this spell go out and reach him. And then when he does come around to talking about uh, in seriousness, you know, that's not the right word. When he does come around to talking about the relationship and stuff, and if he says, you know, is there anything you want to get off your chest, that would be your time to bring that up. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I think at the minute, uh, Yeah, I think it's getting to you at the minute and I don't think you should worry too much about it because I think that it's a it's a lesson that we go through in life. Uh, I always say this, uh, things happen for a reason and I think um, uh, that that annoying you and stuff, it's part of uh, something that you have to experience to get to the other side, if you know what I mean. Uh, that's really what those cards have told me. Now, these oracle cards get straight to the point. And the first card out is attachment. So that's just a little warning of not being too attached to the result of the spell. It's a good idea for you to uh, sit and meditate on the goal. See the goal in your eye, mind's eye. Just see it happen. Don't worry about how you get to the result or anything along those lines. Just see everything happen. And... Uh, if you can do that a few nights a week, that would be enough for a minute or two, two, three minutes a night. Focus on what you want exactly, down to the fine details. Uh, you know, in your mind's eye, he doesn't look at other women. You know, make a point of doing that as well. That will draw things clear and, like I said, drop the attachment. Because it will bring you nothing but anxiety and a broken heart. So that's just a warning there not to be too attached. Uh, just let things unravel as they should. There you go. A magician in the mirror. That's a card of a spirituality, magic. And I think you're the kind of person that once you hit a bump in the road in your life, you go to, uh, you know, people for spells. Uh, you maybe do them yourself. Uh, that's what that is basically telling me. That you're very spiritual. <laughs> and then I've got woman holding a coin. It's interesting. So we've got you and well, I'm assuming this is you and a money issue. And the interesting thing is he's got it as well, a man holding a coin. So it could be down the line putting your money together, uh moving in together, that sort of thing. Because the next next card out is the thinking woman. This is really interesting. The way these cards came is the two coin cards, it's two money cards, and this is interesting, I've got the thinking woman, and then I've got the thinking man. So the two of you are going to be doing a lot of thinking, and I have a feeling it's to do with money, down the line. And then we've got woman holding a heart, that's basically just telling me about your feelings. Uh, it's also telling me that you need a little bit of rest and rejuvenation, Nearly in all of my love readings, when I use this deck of cards, rest and rejuvenation is always in <laughs> in the hand of cards because I think it's important when you get love work done that you do take things easy. And if you do do that, then this card, which is the real, to me, this is one of the best cards in the deck. It is door to personal healing and happiness. So I do think that if you follow through and take things easy on yourself, uh, that I think that everything will fall into place so yeah you know I, I'm pleased with that and I do think that things are look, going to look up for you like I said if you can use your mind as a as a tool to emphasize the spell work um, it will really help the spell work um, to manifest like I said before uh, on the, all these videos can't time magic uh you can't put a timeline on magic but 
if you do that little simple meditation, you know, just daydream for a few minutes each night, but use your senses, use touch, you know, and things like that, you will really, really help things um, come around a lot faster. So that's what I'm basically trying to tell you. And, uh, you know, that goes for anyone that's getting magic uh, spell worked on uh, or you're doing stuff for your, uh, yourself. The art of positive thinking plays a big role in it, you know. Uh, I understand that when you're going through a stressful time, it's, it's hard to be positive. But it's in your best interest to try and change that thought pattern. Turn it around and, you know, don't waste the negative thoughts. Uh, you know, don't waste the negative thoughts. Don't use negative thoughts because you're wasting energy, whereas you could be directing the energy into something positive. So, yeah, <laughs> I'll leave it there. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of videos I'm working on at the minute. So please, 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 if you're waiting on a video, you'll hear from me soon. If you're waiting on uh, a message, I will be in touch. Uh, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm just trying to get a lot of videos out at the minute. And it's very, very time consuming. So... Uh, if you haven't heard from me, I will be in touch uh, or feel free to message me. Uh, I don't mind at all. But uh, like I said, I'll be in touch very soon. Uh, it's thehousemagic at gmail.com and uh, like, share, subscribe and I'll uh, answer anything you have to say in the comments, of course. Uh, we'll have a look at those at some point very soon. So have a good evening.